Okay, we're going to start number four for orthographic conversion. Okay, I have number four queued up here on the screen. And if you take a look at it, let's see what we have for parts. We have two layers, but it looks like on the second layer, we only have one cube that has a hole through it. On the first layer, it appears that we have seven parts. One of those is a triangle, one of those is a cylinder. Next to the cylinder, there appears to be a half cylinder. So let's get this started. I'm going to open Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to go New, Standard ICP. Create. And I'll start with the cubes. If you follow along on the handout, you'll see that it looks like there's three cubes in the back. And then the front, we have a half cylinder, a cylinder, a cube, and a triangle. So let's start with the three cubes in the back, one cube at a time. Rectangle. One tab one, inch sketch, screw, one inch is good. We go front, we put the cube on the right, pencil, right side, rectangle, corner to corner, finish sketch. Little house, extrude one inch, looks good. Front view, swing it over to the left, click on pencil, on the cube, rectangle, corner to corner, finish sketch. Little house. You should see that come out the left side now. Zoom out a little bit. There it is. Let me pan this over. So we should have a half cylinder on the left, a cylinder in the middle, another cube, and a triangle coming off the end. Hang in there. Let's see how this goes. Do the half cylinder first. Pencil. Click on our front view. Line tool. Make a line one inch long. Go to arc. Make sure it's a three point arc. That way we're doing end point to end point. And we're going to bring that up half an inch. Finish sketch. Bring that out. Okay, we're going to have a cylinder just to the right of that. We're going to draw this off at the top view. So we're going to click on pencil, click on the top view. We're going to go to circle. Should be able to use the center. We're going to click the center point there. We're going to type one, hit enter. Look at that. That's right where we need it to be. We're not going to have to constrain it with any dimensions. So finish sketch. Extrude. Okay, that's going to have to be direction two. All right. Now we're going to have a cube next to that. So we're going to go pencil. Let's draw on the front view again. Let's go rectangle. Let's go corner. Go corner. One by one, make sure that's what you have. Enter it. Finish sketch. You can extrude that out. Looks good. You can check that. Now we're going to have a triangle coming off the side. We're going to draw this off the front view as well. Pencil. It's going to be right next to the cube that we've just drawn. Line tool. Going to bring that horizontal line out an inch. 
Just swing that back up to the top there. And then we're going to bring those straight down. Alright, that looks like what we have on the handout. Extrude. It's got to be direction two. Can't come all the way out there because we only have two rows. Okay, we're okay so far. I'm going to check that. We're going to have uh, one more cube set on the top with a hole in it. It's going to be right here in this top right corner. So we're going to click on pencil. Now, over here on this top right, rectangle, starting that upper right, bring it down to this corner here, should say one by one, it's going to check that, finish sketch, I'm going to extrude that straight up, and we're going to check it. Now we've got to put a hole in that, we can see that on the right side and front view. Uh, we can see the hidden lines for that, both on the front and the right side view, and we can see the hole on the top. So we're going to go pencil. We're going to put point, click on where we want to put point, and we're going to bore in there. We're going to go to point. Look for our guidelines. We'll know that that is centered. Finish sketch. We're going to use our hole tool. We want it to be distance. We want the depth to be one inch. We want the diameter to be Five. I'm going to click OK. I believe this is number four, and it is done. Let's look at our front profile. Front profile matches the handout. Let's look at our top profile. Top profile matches the handout. And let's look at our right side. That matches. Little house. Let's see what color I want to give it today. And then we'll snip it. Blue. I love blue. There we go. Start menu. Snipping tool. Gonna drag a box around that. I'm gonna go edit. Copy. I'm going to go to the Ortho PowerPoint that I started. I'm going to go to New Slide. I'm going to call this Part 4. And I'm going to paste it. There we go. I have one more slide to make, and this thing is done. Let's save that real quick. All right.